Hey musicians, I'm gonna show you how I do a turban style wrap on my bassoon reeds. So right here I've got a blank that I've been making. I put my wires on and I sort of trim them up a little bit so I don't have too much extra wire poking out. Uh, what I'm gonna do to start is actually take some thread and I like to actually fold it over so uh, it looks like this and then I'm gonna like spin it around a little bit. So now I've got um, like a smaller piece and I can kind of stick that in and like hopefully get this inside the reed a decent amount. Then what I'm gonna do is take my mandrel and I can stick this mandrel in to kind of hold the thread up inside the reed. By putting that thread up there, it's pretty secure now. So, yay. Now what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna drop a very small amount of sealant on this reed. This is Duco, it's a rubber cement kind of situation. I also like to use nail polish a lot. So I'm just gonna like let gravity do its thing. Uh, basically I'm trying to make this reed a little bit sticky right now. That's all I'm trying to do. Get a little bit of glue on here so the reed is going to be sticky and the thread's going to want to stick to that reed. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is create my figure eight. So I'm gonna kinda go up this way, up and around the top, come back down, and go around this way. So it looks sort of like a racetrack from Mario Kart. So again, we'll do this again. I like to go to the left side here, up to the right, around, make my figure eight, and go around the bottom part. Now at this point, I can start actually wrapping my turban. So I'm gonna go above, and I'm gonna kinda like go down at an angle and go below, and then I'm gonna follow this thread. And the second time, I'm gonna give a little space and just do the same thing. So I go down, and I kind of follow it, and then a little bit afterwards I go up. And then I kind of follow the top, go a little extra, follow down below, go a little extra, and continue this process. Now, I'm not the prettiest turban wrapper. Um, it takes a little bit of time, and honestly, I'm lazy and I go too fast. Um, you'll find that maybe you like the aesthetics of a bigger or a smaller angle. Like my angles are really lazy right now. Uh, if I wanted it to look pretty, I'd probably, I don't know, try to keep them more consistent. Like on the way down, they're pretty sloppy. So we'll try to fix that. And I'm just gonna continue doing this process for a couple of minutes. At this point, I'm not pulling that hard but I am making sure that this is, you know, not loose. So I need this to, to kind of do its job, which is to hold the reed together a little bit. So I will fast forward to save you a little bit of time. Okay, I've gotten this to the point where it's good enough for me. Um, I've got enough of a turban here I can grab onto. It's not super chunky, so it'll fit in my reed case pretty nice as well. Um, what I'm gonna do is take a bit more of my Duco. And again, I'm just gonna sort of let gravity do its thing. Come on, little blobby, yay. That's it, I just want this to be sticky. I'm not really trying to seal this reed or anything special. I just want a little bit to help this thread want to stay close to the reed. So I'm gonna kinda um, spin around now and spin around and spin around. And again, I'm snug, but I'm not like pulling very tight because it will make my next step like really tricky actually. So we'll just Twisties. Like I, oh boy, this 
Look how ugly, that's okay. It doesn't matter how pretty your read is, just that it plays well. But if you can make it pretty, that's kind of nifty too. So we're gonna go around. We're really close to the top. Get one more revolution. No, I can't, I'm right up at the top. So now that I'm up at the top, what I'm gonna do is cut off a little bit of extra thread. Um, not too much, like that much. And I'm going to pull this little loop off the top. So you can see I've got that loop from before. And what I can do is take this and sort of just put it through the loop and tuck that down. Now, earlier, we put some thread inside the reed. We're gonna take the mandrel down, pull our extra thread off. Look at that. And if I pull on this thread here, watch what happens up here with the loop. So I'm gonna pull down. Oh, and then we were able to tuck that under the thread. So again, I gave it a nice little snug pull. And we have what looks like a messy on this side, but prettier on this side, turban situation going on. So I can now remove the extra thread I don't need. And down here, I just sort of give it like a little uh, cut as well. Remove those. And now I'm going to do my final gluing. At this stage, I often use um, clear nail polish as well because it's just a little easier to use. Um, and I let the gravity do its thing. Um, I really don't like getting this all over my fingers because it feels pretty gross. And then when I'm practicing clarinet or oboe or bassoon later when I make this read, I can feel all that glue on my fingers and it's like very uncomfortable. So I'm just sort of like using the top part, the nose, I suppose, of the glue to kind of smash it all in. And when I think that there's enough on here for now, I'll go ahead and close this dude up. And then I'm gonna remove this dude to go dry with its friends. And that is wrapping a turban.